Hi there, welcome. It's Tech here, and this is my channel, Bootlosophy. Uh, today, I'm bringing you uh, an unboxing of a pair of Parkhurst Richmond boots. These are factory seconds in uh, natural uh, veg retan from Seidel. <laughs> This is the box that Parkhurst packed the boots in. Uh, this is their, obviously the packing box, but uh, as part of the no waste strategy, I think that Parkhurst uses, this is also the boot box. There is no second box on the inside. So let's get this done. A couple of simple um, tapes across the bottom there. And it opens out as a, a shipping note and the usual thank you card from Andrew Savisco. Very, really lovely touch. Um, spare pair of uh, round wax cotton laces. Always find spare pairs useful. The boots themselves come in uh, separate boot bags. Nice uh, canvassy ones with the Parkhurst uh, picture of the bison on them. Um, they used to come in black bags, I think, uh, if I remember right, and uh, so they've recently changed to white bags. So I'm really excited. Let's open these up. So these are factory seconds uh, in what Andrew terms grade one factory seconds. Uh, Richmond boots in natural veg retan from Seidel. Let's get the uh, two boots out in the open. I might just turn these around if I'll get rid of the box. Hang on a second, just be real quick here. So these are the Richmond boots, which you can tell from the toe cap. Uh, they're grade one factory seconds, which meant that instead of selling at the retail price of $362 on the website, uh, I got them for $327. Not much of a discount, you think? So let's see what the uh, uh, faults are. Firstly, it's a grade one uh, factory second um, as graded by Andrew. They're structurally sound. And what grade one usually means is there might be color variations in the leather. The stitching could be irregular and there may be non-perfect toe caps. So let's have a look. From straight on, I honestly can't see any difference in the toe caps. They're not irregular, I don't think, from first glance. Uh, they seem pretty straight to me and, and they seem to be pretty even. So I don't think that's a problem. Immediately, you can see a blemish on there, just across the top of the toe cap. But you know, if I walk, if I wear these three times, walk a, a half a kilometer or so, I'm, I'm gonna scuff them. So I don't mind that. A Little bit of uh, discoloring on here too. Honestly, I, I don't think that's a problem at all. The laces that, that are spare are exactly the same. Um, sometimes they come with different laces. If you look at that model, I think perhaps the light's not quite right, but the toe cap is slightly darker than the rest of the vamp. But again, I don't mind. This is natural uh, vegetable tanned, retanned leather, where um, I think the salts have been taken out of the liquid and then it's been retanned. Um, so, I, I expect there to be variations in the natural tan colour. I don't see anything issue with that. Uh, the third thing that might be wrong with it is um, the stitching irregularity. So, I'm looking very closely. I guess you might say that's a stitching irregularity because it's not quite straight. I don't know, you be the judge. What do you think? Is that straight? Does it matter? <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> It's not, you know, like torn, there are no um, toe holes. Oh, well, there's a slight irregularity there. But seriously, I mean, you know, that really doesn't matter to me. The leather itself looks fantastic. I'm, I'm, I, I love light tan natural leathers, and these are, these are really great. Uh, I'm looking for stitch irregularities on the right boot, maybe a little bit there. Would you say that's a stitching irregularity? I, I don't really mind, don't really care. Uh, I don't see any stitching irregularity in the welt. 
it's a wheeled split reverse weld. That means the weld has been split and then reversed up the side so that it gives a little bit of extra um, water resistance. It's on a Ridgeway sole, which I love. It's different from a Commando, but just as grippy. It doesn't pick up twigs and, and gravel and dirt in between the lugs. And it's also um, reasonably, if you see from the sides, it's, it's reasonably flat. So it doesn't look like you're walking around in great big Commando shoes about to um, shoot up some embassy or other. Um, they feel quite stiff as uh, veg tan leather. I have other veg tan leathers uh, from Seidel as well as from uh, Horween and, and a few other different tanneries on my boots, but these feel really quite stiff. They're almost as stiff as the Grant Stone um, saddle tan veg from Badalasi Carlo, but those are lined. These, these are unlined, as you can see. They're unlined in the shaft and fully lined in the vamp. The tongue is gusseted up to the fourth eyelet. Gosh, this, this leather is supple enough, but it feels tough. I'm really looking forward to going out on a bit of a hike in these boots. Factory Seconds, Parkhurst, you know, $327 down from $362. No problems. I'm happy to buy that. Um, I'm going to put them on. Let's see what they're like on foot. Okay, so let's put these on and see what they um, feel like and look like on foot. The leather is actually quite a hard leather. And it feels um, firm. The fitting, this is a size 8D, my, my sort of normal American Heritage boot size, but a half size down, or in fact, exactly a half size down from my Brannock Truda size. Um, as you can see, it's an all eyelet boot, no speed hooks. I don't mind that, although it takes a while to, uh, to uh, tie up. I won't tie my usual double knot just to save on time. I do like round laces because I feel they're a little, um, they have a little less friction when you cinch them up. Last eyelet. Yeah, they, they're snug and I think will need some wearing in. I don't want to say breaking in because I don't feel any hot spots whatsoever. They feel pretty good. The Ridgeway sole is quite a thick sole, so in my other Ridgeway sole boots, I do find that I do have to break in the sole a little bit to make sure that it flexes where my foot flexes. But these feel good. I think they look quite good. I already have natural um, coloured tan boots, but I do like them. I find I'm gravitating towards browns and tans, especially naturals. And these, I think, will patina really well. You can, in fact, see already that uh, there are gradations in the color that's gonna come out. Interesting is um, they're not shiny. So conditioning when they need it is gonna be quite interesting because I wouldn't like to put a shine on these. Okay, so there we go. The uh, Parkhurst Richmond boot in natural uh, veg retan from Seidel. So there you go guys, that's the unboxing and my initial thoughts about these Parkhurst Richmond boots in a uh, natural uh, veg retan leather from Seidel Tannery. Um, grade one factory seconds, but you know honestly no different from a pair of boots that would look like this in after a day's wear. Um, comfortable enough so I'm gonna do the usual I'll wear them for a few months and then I'll bring you a review of them uh, properly and until then um, if you like what you're seeing do me a favor and click on the like button and if you haven't already please subscribe because I have loads more boot videos to bring to you so take care and I will see you soon